Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. It is popularly said that um, you can misbehave anywhere on any platform, be it on Instagram, Facebook, and even on LinkedIn. But ensure your case file is not opened on Twitter because the streets of that platform do not forget. In the same breath, Nigerians on Twitter have looked out for each other in a thousand different ways, especially via, via donations and seeking justice for the oppressed. As the NSAS peaceful protest hits day 13, worthy of mention is a campaign started by Dr. Chinoso Egemba, popularly known as Apoko Doctor, to help Jane Obiene get a um, prosthetic leg. The lady apparently living with disability has been unemployed since 2013, and she came out to join the NSAS protest. So far, over 7 million naira has been donated, and um, the doctor has said it will be shared with her and another young man who is also in need of a prosthetic leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's commendable because um, at the protest yesterday, at the protest ground, I saw um, medical caregivers, you know, vans, ambulances pulled over and then I saw them treating people. So these people were not even wounded by violent attacks. Um, mm. Maybe you just fall mm. or you trip and something happens, mm. you get it's a you crowded place, anything, or you feel weak, whatever it is, or for some reason you're asthmatic, you're not with your inhaler, mm. there is somebody to attend to people. And these yeah. people are not being paid. Mm -hmm. They're just doing it because they believe in the movement and they're just, you know, so it's really commendable that if we stand together, united, we stand divided, they say we fall. So I think it is really, it's, it's really a strong message we're passing across to the government by our actions alone. Mm. It's not by just going out there to scream NSARS. Mm. Our actions alone are very exemplary. They are very emulative for a lot of young people and even adults. I think yeah. even fathers and mothers can mm. learn from us. Grandmothers and grandfathers can learn because our actions are really exemplary. You see people have accidents on the road and you see people drive by in their G-Wagons, Range Rovers and stuff. They don't even stop to help none of these people. Mm. Do you understand? So it's still I like a thing of rotten actions. Really, I my. really love that angle because this action takes me back to the way somebody put it somehow on Twitter. I said uncoordinated, coordinated mm. protest. How we have been able to implement some of the things that we've been begging the government to implement for us faith. over and over again, and we've been able to do this with. Compared to the monies the government will call billions, mm. with little money, mm. and these things are working. You have a care line working, you are able to get security, you are able to pick the calls when people need you, you are able to actually dispatch mm. people in the 36 states of this country. And also, I remember, I think it was in Egypt, when some people were arrested for mm. um, um, joining the NSAS protest. And... Mm. Abiket Dabirin, I mean, she's been working so hard, but in this case, she was called upon and she said nothing like that. And somebody on this team also went ahead to secure the release of um, the people that were arrest arrested in that protest. So I like that I brought in action because we are not just saying, we are showing you examples to let you know that we are not asking for something that is impossible to do. They are all possible to do, especially when you can deploy the right technology, which is available with the crop of creatives you have as youths in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So I like that angle as yeah, well. Yeah, I have to agree as well. I think the update on this story warmed my heart because when it first started, she was still on, I think, 1.5 million. Mm -hmm. I think it was initially 500,000. 500, I remember even saying, ah, oh, we've gone above that. So even that 1.5 million was already like, oh, could I see you, girl? But I, I, kept, I kept thinking to my mind that now that she has more than enough, it would be nice for her to share with other people who had that leg. That was my initial oh. thoughts that, ah, it would be nice if this lady doesn't hold everything. Because I saw another tweet where they were saying, let's get this young man a prostate um, leg as well, which kind of made me think for uh, that she's not the only person who needs that. And I'm not telling her what to spend her money on, but it was it was a nice thing. So now seeing the update that she's actually going to be sharing it really warms my heart because that's how kindness spreads. Is mm. If you don't hoard it when it stops at you and you share it, which is which is the Nigerian, well, let's say old Nigeria because we're in a new Nigeria now. This is like <laughs> the Nigerian mentality where if you manage to secure yourself a spot or a connection Sean, you hoard it. You don't share it with people. You tell them it's the grace of God. Mm. And one like, you know, very poor story. So it's it's very nice for me to see that in this culture where things are still hard. And she, they, no one can tell me that that girl didn't have anything else to do with the money that she wants. She's going to share with this guy mm -hmm. for the person. Like, so I, I, a big shout out to her. Yeah. I think a big shout out to Apricot Doctor as Definitely. well. Definitely, that was what I was um, going to say. Because he, he used his platform really well. The, the fact that he is already in that medical space, I think also really helped 
for me personally, because I also, I don't like mentioning, but I also um, donated to that cause. But one of the reasons why I wanted to was because he was in that medical space. So it had more genuine authority, if that makes sense. Like, he knows what he's talking about, mm -hmm. about this girl. And he must have done his research behind to know that she, she indeed needs that and it's something yeah. that can fit into it. I don't know. It just made me feel more comfortable yeah, to, to donate as well. definitely shout out to him. Yeah. And I see that he's also opening, starting some campaigns and fund donating for other courses as yes, well. So absolutely. if you're interested in being part of that, just go to Twitter and follow at Aproco Doctor and you definitely see them all. Now, moving on to the next story. The Nigerian police force over time has experienced problems with um, <coughs> recruiting, training and inefficiency in discipline and corruption, which has um, resulted in a low level of public confidence and largely negative perception of the Nigerian police. There have been several calls and efforts geared um, towards a reform of the police force over the years, but these have not led to any significant improvement in police service delivery. Also, among the 5 for 5 demands for the Nigerian youths um, is the call for an increase of police salary and adequate compensation. A summer of the opinion that better remuneration is a vital tool for ending brutality. While others do not agree, take a look at this video. Police people are adults. Army are adults. All these security forces, they are adults, grown up men and women. If you are working in a company and you don't like the company, you can quit and you can strike. And if you don't want to quit or strike, you can also join this protest by yourself to let them know you are not happy. It is not the duty of Nigerian people to fight for police to have better salary. If police don't like their salary and their welfare, let them strike and protest. Uh-uh. What are we talking here? You can't play both sides this time. No playing on both sides. Which kind of movement? Which kind of demand be that one? I would rather grind my Naira notes into a smoothie and drink it than donate one penny of it to the Nigerian police. Don't they have their funds? If then they vex me, then come and go protest. If I ain't refurbishing any police barracks. How can you have gone? And instead of you are robbing me, instead of you to go and rob the people inside your own com company that are chopping you. And I don't they mad at me. May nobody send me that WhatsApp message. I go box you. I'm off to the protest ground, baby. Keep this energy up. Increasing police salary will not stop police corruption. Let me repeat it if you cannot hear it, if you are the back. Increasing police salary will never stop police corruption. Higher salary cannot end corruption in police. If money, they stop corruption. Why are our politicians still a thief? If more money is the solution to corruption, it is just supposed to be one single criminal in Nigerian politics. Mm, emotion is definitely high, but also Nigerian artist Innocent Idibia, known as Tubaba, tweeted saying, if Una no fit do the work, make Una resign. Nobody force Una to do the work. Nigeria must reach its potential and all of us go enjoy them. This comedy done too much, end of quote. The question now is very simple. Do you think better remuneration can reform the members of the Nigerian police force. And please, before you respond, please, you can join this conversation and send in your opinions via WhatsApp to 090-6000-5719. Please send WhatsApp messages. Don't try calling. We would like to definitely hear what you have to say about this one. If you're mine. Uh, I've been very torn on this one. When the movement first started, I'm not, I'm, my head doesn't do politics. I really don't know what's going on. I'm not going to lie. So I look forward to people who do and help us, you know, gather the thoughts. I just know when my human rights are being um, violated. That's all I know. There are, there are other things I'm learning. So I've been looking forward to um, other people with more experience, like mm -hmm. files or whatever. So when the 505 was gathered together, um, it looked, it made sense. I read through it. I, I, I personalized it and it made a lot of sense. And I was okay with that. And then I heard um, Shewon Kuti's thoughts. And that was the first time that I actually kind of questioned the 545 demand of re um, remuneration. But then again, I've been going back and forth on this one, but I think I've still come to the same conclusion that as much as Shewon Kuti makes a lot of sense in that regard, and maybe we shouldn't focus too much energy because they can do it themselves, mm -hmm. I still think that them increasing their money would help. Okay. In other parts of the society, um, you cannot remove corruption from people. That's, that's, that's fact. Even, even America, or whichever country you adore, has a level of corruption to that. So I'm not saying that you being comfortable would remove corruption, but there is a level of comfort that you get that makes corruption reduce. 
and that has been proven many many times mm -hmm. in other parts of the world and i know that nigerians are still blood and bones we're still humans so for me personally speaking the idea of of us wanting to give them especially the people who have so much power a, a level of decency where 500 naira that you throw to them in your pocket is no longer moving i think that would help reduce the amount of people that we would find working in corruption there'll mm. still be some bad people even if you pay them one Definitely. million but i think it would help okay before you come in i also want to mention that i tried to reach out to some lawyers and those who would of course understand it better and they were saying that the police or anyone under any force um, in nigeria doesn't have the right to actually form a group or go on strike or mm. protest because it will be seen it. as mm. going against a constituted authority so yeah Go ahead. Yeah, so I was going to come from that angle mm -hmm. as well. So we don't expect the police to join this protest, right? But at the end of the day, they have um, superiors, they have bodies, they have people who can speak for them, they have their PROs, they have people that, they have several organizations that can speak for them. Mm -hmm. So they have, like you said, a constituted body, they have mm -hmm. constitutions, they have laws guiding them, they have things to go and about. Human rights has to be part of that. Do you understand? Well. Can't and not to speak at all. Like, at, the, at the end of the day, I feel like, even if a police officer is earning a million naira, you see that 500 naira that they are making on the streets <laughs> <laughs> his bonus the one million goes to it to, to 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 a private account where they pay for school fees but you see that five they will collect it mm. look at our politicians they have um wardrobe allowance they have mm. hardship allowance it's hard, and they it's are hard still collecting so much money and, <laughs> and they are still the Come most on. corrupt set of people in the world mm. so you can't tell me that increasing your salary would change your mind state you can't tell me that your increasing your salary will change your illiteracy you can't tell me that increasing your salary will change your violence against people that are good. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me that increasing your salary will change how you profile me as a young man. Mm -hmm. None of that is going to change what you think. So I'm not good. Like N6 rightly said, apart from some of the languages which he used, right? I would rather grind, squeeze <laughs> to a nice cup of tea and drink Your it money. on tea time than donate a cobble to mm -hmm. the Why Nigerian police force. Yeah. No. Yes, uh -huh. we are fighting for Sorry them. So you are saying let's begin to create I'm funds not... and donate to take care of the police. When? And they have their trust when? Fund, really. When so, has hey. any police officer come out to fight against unemployment? We see a lot well, of first class they're not graduates. To do they're not that. To. No, I'm talking about being support, even show empathy. Hmm. You see a young man on the streets that's because he has iPhone. He's work, he has iPhone, no, but he's climbing on Kada. He's telling you he holds file under his armpits and he's trying to go and do interview. But because he has iPhone, come down, come down, come down. You call, this guy is looking for a job. He's probably been jobless for years. Have you shown any empathy to that guy? Or hmm. you shoot him down know. on the street I've in cold blood? Said, for for okay. me, I, I don't think um, increasing the, their salaries would automatically change them. It is a step in the right direction, definitely. But I feel like they need total overhauling. Like their mindset, I don't know how it works. And I think that they're also working with um, the lowest OS available. Because mm. I don't understand even, okay, I was looking at one document and they were talking about how we even need to start talking about how the policeman takes your statement down. Mm. Their own the environment where they work, they don't even have a computer. They don't have mm. anything digitalized. They don't which understand is, how it works. Mm -hmm. So which is why when they come out to see somebody with an iPhone or with an expensive gadget anyway, they think that it is unattainable because mm. they are not in that environment exactly. where those things are readily so, available. So I definitely support increase of their salaries, but that is not the only thing that can help us. I also definitely support elevation of where they work, getting them better tools, digital tools to be able to bring help. in intelligence, into their help. policing it would definitely it, it, help it impossible because to argue that and also it, it psychological it evaluation of course it would be impossible for it, it would be impossible that's the start you point. can't psychologically evaluate anybody and still make them desperate a, a big factor to human life is mm. is how your standard of living works that thing changes your mindset. Mm. I don't know how I feel when I've gotten an alert. Like my my trail of thoughts, the desperation is reduced. Like all of a sudden, I don't have to check the <clears throat> account of something, or I, I, or I can swipe the yes, card. Yeah. or I can willingly want to go and enjoy myself. You cannot take away from the fact that the it most, will not. It will not. Um, what's it called? Help at all. Nah, that's impossible. Industry in this country is the media industry. Hmm. Is it? 
is this? Is it? One off. Is it? One off. I'll argue I said, that. Okay, one, one off. off. I did not say. Okay, very I said, quickly. One off to go on a break. is the media industry. You don't see me going out on the street to try to get bribes. You Let's not talk me. about the things that people in the media do to survive. If mm. it, ha. Well, I'm talking mm. about myself. Ha. I don't know about the people ha. there. All right. Hey. It's coming longer I don't know than about I expected. The people there. I'm but talking tea about time, myself. Tea time. We'll be right back after this break where we'll look at the progress so far with the NSAS movement. We'll be right back. Thank you.